Others have claimed that you sat by the, the tent door, which remained sealed as chaos ensued. People were collapsing, vomiting, having trouble breathing, hallucinating, foaming at the mouth. I mean, it seems pretty extraordinary to somebody looking at this from the outside that the first thing you wouldn't do is say, OK, let's stop this and get everybody out of here. Again, why didn't you do that? Well, I, I didn't know, nor did anyone know, uh, that anyone was in, in a death a life or death situation. I've been very physical all my life and what I noticed was a lot of people having challenges much like you would see at a marathon or, or any other physical activity. Um, had I known, I, I wish I would have known. You didn't see uh, anybody suffering from any of those things? Nobody collapsing, nobody vomiting? No one having trouble breathing, nobody I, hallucinating or foaming? I didn't see any of those things. Those things were happening outside the lodge and again, as I've said, you know, my remorse, there's many things I would do differently. Of all, of all the physical metaphors that I did, of board breaks and firewalks and, and all those things, which are rope courses, which are extremely powerful, for whatever reason, the lodge was the only one that I participated in. Um, all the rest of them, and in retrospect, I'm not sure why. Who was in charge that day in the lodge? Who was running the show? You? Well, I was in the lodge running the lodge, which the, the prayers and the, and the affirmations and all those types of things. But were you uh, in had charge? I, had I, I, I wasn't in charge to that degree. So had you had I, it in your power, if you were genuinely concerned by what was happening, to just open up the flaps and let everybody out. And you we couldn't. did. Every 15 minutes we opened, or, or thereabouts, we opened up the flaps and people were free to leave, uh, come and go and there were people outside standing around and again in retrospect I probably should not have participated because I was dealing with the same issues that many of the people inside were dealing with. There was a, hence, an allegation a woman said that um, you were asked if she could open up the back of the sweat lodge to get two victims out you told her it would be sacrilegious to remove the tarps and blankets covering the wood frame. Is that true and, and if so why? I, I don't recall that at all, Piers. Would you recall anybody um, saying to you, I've got to get out of here? I do, and I recall people leaving. Were they panicky? Um, some people wanted to quickly exit, and one of the things I had told them in the setup was to go out clockwise carefully because obviously there's a pit of hot rocks in the, in the center. Um, so, you know, I was doing my best to control their movement out in a controlled manner so they wouldn't fall into the pit.